1075 GCI the Shots number one for hip hop and R&B. Leon Cow. Yeah. Kendra G the Chicago Morning Takeover. Takeover. Definitely in the building. Absolutely, <laughs> man. We got a guest in the studio, very special guest, man. Gonna be on that summer jam stage this year. Can I hit it dog? Representing here Can from I hit Chicago. It for you, sis, man? Hit it for me one time. Tell me what you wanna be. <laughs> this ain't what you want. <laughs> Yo, Chicago, man, Lil Dirk is home, man. Yes. What's up, what's up to the How city, doing, the whole man? city, man. I'm feeling good. How you feeling? You, I feel great. I feel great. I'm assuming you're feeling good because the album just dropped. Yeah, yesterday, man. I'm feeling good, man. Blessed to have out an album, period. Yeah, yeah. Some, is people, it? some people can't even put out an album. It'd be people longer than me in the rap game and put out an album. Right. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like, does, does it feel the way you thought it would feel? Like, you put in a lot of work over the course of years to get to this point and the album is finally here. Does it feel like how you anticipated it? Yeah, and I'm saying because the fans still reacting the same way. I'm saying, I, and the fans grew, so I'm I'm just excited to put it out. And I'm saying, and the response was crazy from all the blogs. It wasn't like yeah. it's a basic out. You know what I'm saying, right? It's like he got created. I'm saying, it just I just feel good about. it. What's the projection on the numbers? You thinking? <sighs> I don't know. They come out I, next I, week. I, I don't want to be too cocky. Then I don't want. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to be too cocky, but Boosie, Boosie did fifty. Right. So you trying to beat that, basically. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. ASAP did 100 and something? 146. Yeah. 146. Yeah, 146. Yeah, 146. Yeah. We has been like, you know, this is not his first album, I don't believe, is it? ASAP, no, nah, it ain't his not first. Not his first, no, is no, no. So, yeah. But it's still, it's still a, 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 a upswing for an artist of his nature. Because yeah, right. he's not a Jay-Z, he's not a Nas, right. he's not a Drake. Oh, definitely. He, so, did, he do better than a lot of people. It's yeah. number one album yeah. in the country right now. Yeah, absolutely. ASAP Rocky. So yeah. listen, all we say all that to say, man, shoot for the top. That's all. Of course. Yeah, yeah no, shoot I'm, for the I'm, top. I'm shoot for the top. I'm, 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 I'm good with number, whatever numbers I get. Right, right. Absolutely. Uh, how excited are you to come home and perform on a Summer Jam show, man? Yeah, I still can't believe it. I'm still thinking it's a I'm still waiting on punk to come out like that. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> Yo, and you got to show some love, man. Lil Reese in the building, too. Absolutely. What up, Reese? How you been, man? All good. Just chilling. Hit that mic. Get on that mic, bro. Yeah. Just chilling all good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you, you, you. I, what what I like about you guys, man, you know, y'all really stick to the whole OTF thing. Like, Dirk, you doing your thing. You always manage to keep the guys involved. Yeah. Like, what What is the, 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 the sentiment behind that? Like, because sometimes cats get it and then they leave their guys behind, but you guys always seem to, to gravitate and stay around each other. Is that just a mutual bond thing from being friends or you just really want your whole team to eat? I just really want the whole team to eat. You know what I'm saying we 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 family. We ain't friends. You know what I'm saying. All right. So I can't be around. It, it's just like if it was the other way around. I can't. Everybody ain't gonna have no buzz at the same time. You know okay. What I'm and because when I when everybody was like just Reese and Keith was just on top when I wanted nothing. You know what I'm saying they were still showing love. Like come on, bro, let's do the interview with me. You know what I'm saying right. And it's just right now album coming out perfect time. You know what I'm saying so we gonna do it all together. Right. Wow. Back in Chicago And you know I want to bring this up Because I saw an interview That you did recently Talking about how You don't believe In going back in the hood You know Things of that nature um, How do you feel Being back in the city Are you not going to go To certain areas See no The question was Like they were saying Like Do you got to go back Okay To like be cool. I'm saying I was Yeah and I was just telling Like no, Only people who say They should go to the hood The people who really want to go Or who ain't never been I'm saying so. All, 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 a lot of these rappers be gimmicks. I'm saying, right? They Do you go back been. to the hood though when you're home? Yeah, I show love. I'm saying, but I'm always working. I'm always busy. So. Mm. It's priorities though, right? Like you go back when you have to handle certain things or to see certain people, but you yeah, don't feel like just, to prove nah, a point. You got to stand on the corner. Right. When, when you say the hood, it ain't necessarily I got to stand on the corner. I'm right. saying we got family. I'm yeah. saying go see family and, and politic with the family. Right. That's understood. Shake hands. I've been going. For, I've been going for two, three months. Right. I ain't seen him too. Cousins, you know? right. yeah, I don't absolutely. see him. Absolutely. Hey man, we're talking to little Dirk right here on the Chicago Morning Takeover, Leon Kyle, Kendra G. Dirk, now uh this past year, pretty rough year for you, man. You know, even though the fact that you putting out an album, I mean you, you lost your manager, you also lost a cousin. Yeah. Two you know, you know, Chino, like how do you push through that, bro? I know and, I and work on your album. how did you push manage to push through all that? Just keep my head up and I'm saying just my support system, people around me always keep me motivated. I keep them motivated. You know what I'm saying, so it's like it's even. It's just like a lot of pressure on me because you know I'm saying it's just like I'm right now. So it's a lot, a lot of pressure on me. But people around me be telling me like you gotta keep going. You can't focus on nothing right now. Turn your phone off in the studio. Or mm. We we be in the room. We'll be like, all right, what are we gonna do? When we step outside the room, it's game face. You know what I'm saying. 
Do you have time to mourn though in that situation? Right. Because yeah. I feel like you can't mourn. I feel like I feel like mourning is therapeutic at times. So I know you got to work and keep your head up, but. Did you have a time to at least like understand what happened and deal yeah, with it? Yeah, of okay. course. I'm saying we, I still do it today. I'm saying, but a lot of people, a lot of people just too too hard to say that. I'm saying, right, right. right. How, <laughs> how, you lose and, somebody, you be sad, you know? Yeah, and and going in on that, and so where we come from, where we, where we grow up, and where we live, this is Chicago. How hard is it for you guys to control the rage when something like that happens to a friend close to you? You understand what I'm saying? Because I know. Chino meant a lot to you, just yeah. like your, your cousin meant a lot to you. How hard is it to suppress that rage to want to go get get back? I'm saying, it, 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 we, 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 how we get back at people to, uh, through success, bro. Okay. Right. There you go. I'm saying, so somehow we just be, you know what, man, how angry is, we just be like, man, get in we, the lab. Just like somehow we like, all right, we on the big jam. All right, look. I'm saying right, right. They have people sick for real, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I thought they were gonna fall off. No, right. I'm on it. Right. We on it, I'm saying. So no, we just we just, we just turn up, ready to work, bro. And I'm saying it's how you go about things, and we go about things in different ways now. Cause in the beginning it was negative, uh, negative energy. Like, man, we finna do this, mm-hmm. but you know I'm saying we just got it. The negative energy just got off us probably a couple of hours ago. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. <laughs> so we just trying to do better, man, and just, and just get big and make more money, support our family. So you talked about pushing through by dedicating yourself to your work. You know what I'm saying? We talked about this album is out. You know, this is your life work at this point, your very first album. I know you put in work before, but yeah. this is that album. You know what I'm saying? And you're doing your thing. What is it about Remember My Name? Like, why do you want people to remember your name? And what do you want them to remember about your name and who Lil Durk is? It's just the, you know I'm saying, definitely because my daddy was who he was. You know what I'm saying? He was a big, he was a big guy to the streets. You know what I'm saying? He was going 22 years, so everybody used to just be like, Durk, yeah, I know your daddy, uh... I was like, all right, nah, I'm finna go this rap route, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I want everybody to remember me through this music. You know what I'm saying? I want to be stamped. Like, oh, he did for his community too. Uh, Dirk, yeah, he ain't just leaving city when he got on. You know what I'm right. saying? I just, want, I just want everybody to remember me in a positive way. Right. Yes. That's dope. So Remember My Name is the album. I was going through the album. I was listening to some tracks. Can I ask you about a couple? Yeah, come on. Yeah, because one, <laughs> one of my favorite joints on there, man, uh, was Like Me with Jeremiah, another yeah. hometown homie right there. So, Boy, shout out yeah. Jeremiah. Yeah, how'd that come together, man? Y'all connecting on the track? Is it something yeah, with the relationship pop, yeah. already? In? Uh, my homie d I mean, my, my homie. My brother d <laughs> I'm saying, also my manager. And Dilla, I'm saying, he part of the team, too. You know what I'm saying? It was just politics. And we just got in the studio and did, like, four songs. And we narrowed it down to the number one. So nice. when we come out at Summer Jam, y'all might be able to perform that together? Oh, you never know. <laughs> that, that'd be crazy. That would yeah, be that's, that'd be nuts. Both on the I like my my joint on the album is Trying to Trying to with Logic. Yes, yeah, I love that song, man. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I love that song. Like, I, I, What I like about it, man, so your creative thinking process when you sat down to do this album, what was... What was your mindset going to do this album? Like, did you say, I'm going to branch out, I'm going to test it, or you, were you playing it safe a little bit? I was just trying to set statements. Like, okay. Every song was like set statements. Like, all right, this song, I'm just going to let my anger out. Then by this song, I'm going to show them, like, this is what I can do. You know what I'm saying? Or this song, I'll probably be like, let's make a party song. Like, just like Logic. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Anybody expect that. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, right, because he's just, known for just, being Just doing something different, being creative, because if I tell you, like, uh, remember my name part two coming up tomorrow. You automatically be like, oh, I already know you can have on that meek French. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> right. but I flipped it and cuffed the heads up. You know what I'm right, 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 right. So, yeah. so now you now you'll never know like what he, what I do. You know what I'm saying. Right. I think my That's favorite cool. song out of the entire album is uh, "Don't Judge Me." Yeah. I think it's that might be my favorite it's personally, it's and I know. Soulful feel. Yeah, you feel me? Like, and I, I think for me, like, there's a lot of there's turn up songs. You know what I mean? But I really like the um, the songs that is like, okay, where's he coming from with this one? Where the point is he trying to get across? Like you just said a second ago. So with Judge Me, do you feel like people were coming at you and really like painting a picture of you that wasn't true and yeah, of false images of you? Like, you know, speak on that for a second. Yeah, it's just like when I, how I came up with that, and what I wanted to know, wanted the fans to know is like through the process of making that, it was a lot of stuff going on in Chicago with us. You know what I'm saying when it was like. Oh, he, he, they do this. I'm saying, like, we got the cure violence going on with um, Kobe and um, Joe Kane Noah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We've been politicking, trying to put stuff together, too. Ain't, the resume ain't that big because we just came up with it, but we definitely been going to talk to schools and stuff. Right. What I explained to them, like, we, we, we could do that, go talk to the schools, and I'm going to chase this policy route now. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what I'm on now. This is what everybody want me to do. But at the same time, I ain't want them to be like, oh, he just, he doing that rapping about. I let them know in all interviews, like, this is what I seen, this is what I saw. 
this real, you know what I'm saying? My, right. This 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 what I rap about. This is what I know. You know I'm saying this is what I came up off of. You know what I'm saying. But that ain't everything. Right. 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 I hate right. they don't right. talk about that though with y'all. Yeah, though. That's, like, that's I hate why, they don't talk that, about that's that. That's why. That's why if you yeah. if you definitely listen to the album, you that's why you'll be like, oh, that's why they did. I'm saying just like I just try to paint a picture so everybody can see. Well, I mean, now to sometimes the media's defense because I'm about to bring something that, that you put out on Twitter yourself a while back when you sent it to your late um your child's mother. You said she was lame as. I can't say the word on the radio. Right. So explain that because I did judge you for that, but I'm gonna give you the opportunity to explain to me why you sent that tweet out about her. It was just you know, it, you know, just baby mama drumming. I'm saying sometimes <laughs> she can't control her. I can't control me sometimes. You know what I'm saying, but you definitely know I take care of my kids. I love my baby. I love both my baby moms. Period. So yeah. you can judge me what you want, but I, you gonna see. Are y'all on better day. terms now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was just angry. It blew who, up. Who, who, get, who had, had, they never had baby mama drum. Well, I'm not baby mama, so I never had baby mama drum. <laughs> you get, you get, little Reese, you got it. Okay, but he said little, all the time. Little dark. No more kids. No more kids right now. Now you, I know you said you wanted ten kids. Is that true? You really want ten yeah, kids? I don't have a kid. Football team. <laughs> <laughs> little dark. No. You're gonna need the eleven Chicago, then, fam. The Chicago, the Chicago Dirks. <laughs> Oh, you go hot The AU team Yo No that's a lot of money No You don't think You don't think three's enough Yeah yeah Well I'm probably taking I mean, I'm, I'm just focused on my work right now Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah Don't shoot for the stars When it comes to the kids Nah you sh <laughs> you're shooting for something else Right You're making babies uh, Nah that's, that's one thing I can say Everybody around me man Definitely I be seeing Reese You know what I'm saying And, and we just be talking about Like damn we got kids I'm saying we be taking care of them though Cause a lot of people don't take care of their kids. They they call it, people text me right now. You take care of their kids. So I was winning summer jam. Well, right, right. You feel me? Right. Summer camp. At, nigga. Take them. What's summer camp? When is summer camp? Take your kids to summer camp. Take your kids to hey. summer camp, man. Yeah, I want to ask y'all this, man. Y'all two young brothers, and I, I swear like to God, that. I live vicariously through y'all Instagrams, man. So. <laughs> Tell me what that road life like, cause I know y'all get to smash. <laughs> Thotties from yeah. 21 no, they they, they pass to 40. It up. I know they rolling in. <laughs> y'all was just, Uncle Leon right. on, man. Y'all was just in New York the other night. The crowd was crazy. I know y'all got the opportunity and to they, snatch a couple up. And they are cuties. They yeah. got the waves happening. You know, Wait, Dark got that, that smile. Bob, Bob just saying. <laughs> <laughs> nah. nah. Yeah, you supposed to go that far. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, you know, I just want to know. Summer Jam, I want the follow. Shout out to media, jam, hey, shout out the media training, man. Shout out yeah. to media shout training. Shout out to media training. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't nobody up, bro. We ain't stash nobody up. <laughs> Lil Dirk is in the studio right now with the Chicago Morning shout Takeover, man. Shout out to media man. training. Right. <laughs> No, we ain't snatch nobody. Yo. We did a show and left. Let's talk about that. Went to church. Right. <laughs> Let me bring it back to Chicago real quick. I know we kind of moved away from the album, but if I could bring it back for a second, we talked about your collaborations with Jeremiah, but um, you're you're on good terms. You got a collaboration with Keith. You know what I'm saying? Can you speak on that a little bit? Yeah, uh, we working on the Glow TF mixtape. You know what I'm saying me, Keith. You know what I'm saying definitely Reese and Fredo, just giving the fans what they want and showing me. Chicago. Yeah. Especially Chicago, and I'm saying, and just all our fans that we work. I'm yeah, saying, unified. Yeah. yeah. How important is that unity? Man, it's big. Cause yeah. It's like, we've been, it been like fake beef going on for so long. It's like, dang, it'll never be cool. Right. Like, that's what the fans want to see. Yeah. I'm saying, you'll never know. It's quite, so you never know. Bigger than ever, probably. It's like everybody on a different level from last time. I'm saying, everybody got their head right. Right. So right. Like, you black like a 300 tour. Like, I right, everybody buzz crazy. We finna go turn these cities up. That's what it is. Did it take a lot to get to the point where guys could come together and have that unity after so much, you know, past tension? Did it yeah. take a lot, or was it something that was nah, like, you know what? It was just like, yeah, like, oh, yeah, we was tripping, bro. Ooh, I'm yeah, mad. brothers fight. That's good. Yeah, yeah. basically, right. And that's what it was. Now this is what it is. We finna just turn up. That's good, man. We on a whole different level. What are some of the ideas that you have, man? Because you've been, you guys being young brothers, man. Like the violence that's going on in the city. Like people. Act and talk about like they know what's going on in the city or whatever. And even myself, there's somewhat of a disconnect because I'm a lot older. But you guys being out here in the field, knowing young soldiers as dying, you know, out here in this in this mess, what can be done? Coming from which I call y'all young OGs because a lot of the younger guys look up to y'all right. right now. So y'all the new OGs basically. What can be done to help curb and stop some of this violence out here? Um, what I what I say personally is getting all the voices together 
everybody who got voices. You know what I'm saying even from, from rappers to to gang bangers to corporate. You know what I'm saying everybody just get in one room. That's, that's how I think it's off. You know what I'm saying, but a lot of people won't put their practice aside and do that. Mm. You know what I'm saying, but you know we always will. Mm. Right. That's so dope. you say the cats that they'll listen to, that they'll actually listen to and rock yeah, with. Actually, we, we, we reached me and Richie reached out a couple times to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying, and, and we was on the verge of just doing it. You know what I'm saying, but some people be like, nah, you be like, right, shit, we try. Right. Do you think right. money plays a role? Because I feel like you know you guys are probably doing well financially. Nah. Other people are not doing as well financially, so there might be some bitterness and jealousy there where they don't. It's everywhere. I mean, I can go to California and go do the same thing. Mm. That's true. Haters everywhere. You know what I'm saying, but you, you can't go outside. You can't go to Wilson. Most haters to, are broke though. But you can't go to Wilson fix nothing if you ain't got your own city straight. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. true. Now, so, uh, I, well, I wouldn't say all haters are broke. Uh, 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 it's, uh, <laughs> haters, are, haters, just some like because I know some cats that's doing just as I'm well a, as I'm, them. I'm, I'm a hater. That'll be upset. At Who them you hate on? Because they swag son, at the man. same. You taking out my girl, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a kid. <laughs> Yeah, I hate on him, man. <laughs> Shh, media training. You don't snatch nobody. Remember, man? Come on, now. Nah. Well, let me, ask you, let me ask you that. As a father, man, like, you know the hardships you may have come up with growing up in Chicago and some of the things that you guys have seen and dealt with. So what's going to change? What's going to be different about how you raise your son and your seeds? You're talking about yeah, having a lot right. of kids, man, but, you know, a lot He's of times you don't want to you know, you bring them up the got. same way. I'm talking about three I got. Yeah. I just, I, just want, I just want them to have fun. You know what I'm saying? Because I grew up with a new day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is, is it? But do you think like Because a lot of times People grow up in certain environments And they say You know what When I get older And I have kids I'm going to move them to the suburbs that's, or, what, that's what it is right Yeah Definitely Because it's like Us growing up We wasn't like no Put me on a soccer team None of that I'm Right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right That's right. what I'm saying wasn't no Put me on a soccer team it was, Man where the baggies at <laughs> Right Right. But like I, My kid right now I don't, You want to play soccer You want to play town What you want to play I'm going to support it And we going to be this that I'm That's strong That's dope Yeah Absolutely. Cool. strong. Absolutely Because some people Like their kid to be On the block Ah. Right, you want your yeah, kids no, to do no. better. Yeah, yeah, no, no yeah. none of that. Let me ask you about Shy Rack. I guess what you a geek? You finna be a geek? <laughs> Make him a geek, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cause just, just like that little girl got shot in the head, man. Blessing to her family, and, and, and she blessed to be alive. And I'm saying we happy for her to be alive and survive the shot. But oh, that's a four year old girl, right? I'm saying you gotta think about that type of stuff when you when you talk about your kids, right? Absolutely. Like you like that little girl, four years that old. That could be my baby. Four, right. bro. Yeah. Yeah. My kid ain't even four yet. Right. Four yet. Right. Man, you look at it like damn little girl I shot in the head. So that's a perfect transition because right now there's a lot of um spotlight on the title Shy Rack with Spike Lee doing a movie here. Um what are your thoughts on that as far as the title representing the city and do you have any involvement as far as like the music for the movie or anything like that? Uh uh Yeah, me and Reese was um was politicking with uh Spike, you know what I'm saying, and Nick. But we just told him like we we'd be cool with the soundtrack. You know what I'm saying because we trying to do this um this tour, you know right? What I'm saying so it'd be like you got to be on set for these many. And plus I just drop my oh album. so they hollered at you about being in the movie too. Yeah, That's yeah. what you're saying. So we just uh, we don't, might just end up with the soundtrack. You know gotcha. And, and the thoughts of it like I look at it fifty fifty like the mayor saying because Chirac is not on the map. You know what I'm saying Chicago's on the map. You know what I'm saying so I understand the mayor hundred percent and I see they they think Chirac the word Chirac is part of violence. I'm saying you know what it is because look at the name. Mm-hmm. But then again, I look, I see Spike Lee because he going off of what's going on. I'm saying if you type in do your research on Chicago, it's gonna say Chirac. You know what I'm saying so I look at I look at it fifty fifty. I'm saying understood. Understood. How many tattoos do you have? They joke me when I said, are oh, your tattoos are real? Because we have so you many. Probably, you probably think I'm playing. No, I know they're real. <laughs> I, know they're real. <laughs> I got like three hundred tattoos. You have three hundred tattoos. Are you serious? You're out of space right now, right? I'm on Pluto. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. You're out of, you're out of space on your body. I can't. Shut up. Don't try to laugh. Don't you be a comedian. You're out of space on your body for more tattoos. Or do you want more tattoos? Yeah, I'm saying we, we actually got a, a contest for the fans. I told them if you draw the best OTF tattoos, I get a tattoo with them. I'm saying so we. Oh, so you're going to add another one. How many do you have, Little Reese? 300. That's the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the team. <laughs> we back. It's like a, man, you talk like Dipset reunion, G reunion. It's a 300 reunion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was my joint, man. You know, turn this up. Run up on you with that pipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Lil Dirk is in the studio, yeah. man. It's the Chicago Morning Takeover, man. Liam, myself, Kyle, Kendra. Uh, I know we touched so base. So got my man Lil Reese in the studio, Reece, too. Lil Reese, got my man Reese hey, Reece got the, hey, Lil Reese got the mixtape for the drop, too, man. Okay. Awesome. That's what I was about to ask you about. And he got the best waves out of all y'all. I don't know. He ain't getting the mic. I don't know. What's up? Those waves are deep. Nah, we got the wave motion, man. You like waves, Kendra? I'm not saying. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Answer so, the question. What's up, with, what's, what's up with the mixtape, Reese? What's happening with it? It's coming soon this summer. You know, we working. Whole team. Everybody working. You got a title for it and all that yet? I might call it Super Savage 2. Mm. Following up at the Super Savage 1. Okay. What's the Which direction of it? I dropped on this two one? years ago. Right. <laughs> what takes so long in between projects? I mean, just dropping tracks, records on, be trying to be too quick to drop a mixtape or uh, album or any of that. Like, right. I'll just be working, you know? Putting yeah, absolutely. Out tracks, at a time, videos, all that. You should de- debut something new at Summer Jam. I'm assuming that you're coming, man. To, coming well, yes, out with it. Man, yes, no, man, they're going to do something, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, Reese, I got to ask you, man. You cool? Because for a while, you was out here Savage Life. <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing no, videos no, look, every look, day. I'm I like, got caught, damn, I Reese. got caught June 22nd. Um, you good, though? <laughs> June 22nd. It's, this hopefully my final court day. So. My man. <laughs> I beat this court day right here, man. I'm going to be out here, man. So, boy, I, I saw everything for him jumping out of cars. I said, man, we is on fire right now. That was the police, though. They were yeah. harassing me. I said, it's him. <laughs> 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 it was the police's spot. Yeah, I should have yeah. sued him. <laughs> <laughs> Every time they see me, oh, we know you got guns. We know you got this. Man. We know you got that. Come on, man. I ain't got nothing, man. I'm going I to the see. studio, man. Leave <laughs> me alone. <laughs> Putting, they put stuff on me. Are you serious? <coughs> I'm dead serious. Well, they ain't hard, hard to believe out here, man. Yeah. Well, then, 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 then. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> How important is it to you to be in your home city, on that stage, in the United Center, in front of your people, that hometown crowd, and just everything that comes with that, man? Yeah, it's going to feel good. And I'm saying definitely coming from a, a, a club to a stadium. I'm saying it's going to be like, damn. Yeah. I'm going to mess around. Drop a tear for real up there. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm happy for you. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, just being, just being, be able to say I'm from Chicago, yeah, like, at home and rock yeah. the stage. Man. You being home because everybody asking like, you gonna be on some jam from New York? I'm nope, Chicago. Nah, yeah. that's right. nah. I'm surprised Kendra didn't ask you this. Uh, now somebody else is gonna be on the show too that you were rumored to be linked to at one time. You know, Chad look. Yeah. Ooh. So I mean, is that was that true? <laughs> I mean, you know, that's that's my was home. it a like, hey, let's get in the lab together or let's get in the lab? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Leanne, for asking that question. Let's get question. in the lab. Right. You know what I'm saying? She my homie, man. What does that mean? Okay, yeah. She that my means homie. Th- yeah, so y'all never had sex? Nah. Okay. Kendra G, right? I just want to make sure. Because, homie, cause you could be, you could be right. like, friends. Yeah, yeah, homie and, lovers. And yeah, 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 you're right. No, she just cool, man. Check oh, up on me. Oh, scratching his head. She check up know. on me. And check interrogators look at stuff like that. They like, scratch his head every time. Nah, she, ch- she check up on me. I check up on her. Okay. That's it. No more. <laughs> you're training. <laughs> it always comes in handy, right? <laughs> All right, so last thing, man. Last thing, man. Your words, you know what I'm saying? Your, what do you want to leave? What message would you like to leave with the people here in Chicago as we wrap this up, man? What's the one thing you want people to know or hear from you? Man, I just want everybody to put their pride to the side, man, and, and just come join this campaign we got. We trying to do, you know what I'm saying, with this Stop the Violence and bring all these voices together and let's talk it out, man. Let's just... Put that thing in the past and let's just get to it. Yeah. Okay? Let's get to this money. It's millions of dollars out here, man. People satisfied with a thousand dollars. Now you say get to the millions. Millions. <laughs> when you wake up and be able to do anything you want, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the point we're trying to get to. So, man, we, we we on a positive move, man, for everybody who listening who don't like us or or anybody who trying to see how this conversation, I mean, how this interview going. I'm saying we just want everybody to participate with us, man. Shout out Joe King Noah. Get up with uh, Cure Violence now, Kobe. If you if we, we just talk it out, man, we ready to change the city. You know what I'm saying, word, definitely. You know what I'm saying so. So the big jam, we finna come turn up, man. Summer jam, yeah, the summer jam. I bet, yeah, it's big for me. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I'm gonna say the big summer jam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah so we gonna turn up, man. Absolutely. Yeah. With that being said, man, we appreciate you stopping by, yes, man. It's sir. good to have you here. Album in stores now. Both yeah. of you guys, man. It's good to have I'm both of you here. Album in stores right now. That man. cover's so ill. 
Let's get it. Yeah. Who came up with that idea, man? It was it was like a group thing. That that cover is ill, bro. Yeah, yeah. They got all the streets on there. Man, <laughs> oh, that cover is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I told you, we doing something different, man. These, these are becoming young, so we ready. I need you know the saying? autograph poster that, man, for the for the basement collection, bro. I got you. That's dope. So when you win the Grammy, you know, I'm going to be like, yeah. There it is. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. And Kendra G, they doing good. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it worked out. <laughs> Look at here. Album in stores it's, right now. Ten Absolutely. <laughs> no, he did not either. Hey, <laughs> you stopping at three kids. You promised me that. iTunes, you know what I'm saying? LitDirkHQ.com. <laughs> 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 appreciate Super y'all stopping by. on the way. Shout out to WGCI and the whole Chicago, man. Yes, Put the sir, guns man. down. No doubt. Thank y'all. Absolutely. Good. <laughs>